call this getting dirty. Yeah, getting down and dirty. <laughs> I do a lot of dirt in the effects world that I work in. However, she has a secret dirt recipe and the way she applies, and I have been begging her. It's permanent on Terminator Salvation, and we were shooting out in the desert. Anyway, so I needed to have sunscreen on every single background player and I need it on all my leads. I also needed to make it look like they've been living in post-apocalyptic world forever, mm -hmm. and they were just that etched in, lived in, mm -hmm. been there forever kind of dirt. I showered and God and knows God knows it. Yeah. I don't think they ever had they, that. Yeah. So really, really, really dirty, greasy, dirty. Um, Aaron Wildridge, who's my key on that movie, and I set to work on uh, finding the perfect product, and we tried everything, and we came up with a great, a great little combo pack. Right. So it starts out with this wonderful product called Aloe Gator. It is a 40 plus gel total sunblock. It's ultra waterproof and it looks greasy. Yeah. So Gator, and we call it Gator Mix. Um, the second product is this. This is from Mayron Star Blend. It's a cake makeup. I love it because you can carry it with you all day long yeah. and it's not going to get all over everything. It's not a powder. You take your spatula and your Mayron Star Blend and you scrape it, okay? And there you're making your powder, but you can make it a little bit at a time so you never, you don't have too so much laying around. So smart. Okay, so if Melissa will hold this for me, shall. I'm just going to scrape some. That's actually, that's a little bit is going to go a really really long way and I'm going to show you a couple different um, techniques on like do you want it to look like it's lived in D did it get splattered you know there's a lot of ways you can use this and it all depends on how much gator you use how much powder you use but it's just these two products oh man. now the more it kind of looks like chocolate yeah okay so here's your mix you can look straight like that just put some on and then wipe it off with your hand. You don't have to make it like, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's actually better if it's like darker in some areas and lighter in others. Mm -hmm. What if you get too much? If you get too much, add more of the, of the actual gator to it mm -hmm. and you can uh, blend it out. Don't forget to get your eyelids. I'm gonna show you another fun little trick with my finger, okay. Close your eyes really tight. Really, really tight. Okay. Open. And you get like these little sort of lines mm. that people get when they're, they've been, yeah. I want it to be too obvious. There's nothing worse than like that. Like, oh look, right. that's dirt. <laughs> Blend it out so that it's, you can use your fingers, you can use a sponge, you can use a brush, but you want an overall just overall dirty I, I i'm a homeless person i've been out in the desert i've right. been you know right. right now the the next trick you can do is you can take this it's an orange stipple sponge and if you want it to, so this is lived in if you want it to look like it got splat the person was splattered mm -hmm. with dirt and even if not it's a great way to give you that second level of um texture texture yeah okay like mud splatter, so like that's a, little, a good, yeah. It's like great. a little bit of splatter. And, not, and you don't do it everywhere. Just right. do it, you know. And you can do smaller little splatters and bigger splatters. You do that, mm -hmm. right? You do a big blob right there mm -hmm. as just part of it. You'll know, you'll take really good photographs and then you'll match that area right. where you did, you know, a heavier right. something. Right. Right? But... And then you just do the whole face. You don't want to leave out the ears. Don't forget ears. Don't forget neck. Don't forget mouth. Don't forget nose. Right. You have to do an overall um, look to make it look realistic. If you're starting to lose some of the shine, mm -hmm. you can just go back in with just the gator. Mm -hmm. It also makes a good sweat, too. Yeah, a greasy that. sweat. OK. Yeah. And I'm going to come back. Oh, you guys, it looks great. It is a nice greasy sweat. And then, it, so you can actually coat it over top of Mm -hmm. Your dirt as well. Nothing like a greasy eye that everybody loves. All right, so that's a really realistic looking dirt yeah, right it's there. Yeah, it's great. It's great. And um, 
she'll work for <laughs> makeup. For makeup, is that what you're saying? <laughs> Here's another example of Jason Bateman, an identity thief that I did, and another quick shot of Christian Bale, um, good example of splattered dirt. Did you guys know Kim and Melissa made an app? Yeah, it's called My Face Chart and Beauty Tips, and you can create your own custom composites. We also give you pro face sculpting tips, and then you can turn it into personalized face charts for you and your client. So how great is that? You can go through this QR code if you want to just pause and scan. It will take you to the iTunes store so you can get it for yourself. Or you can go to iTunes the regular way and type in My Face Chart and Beauty Tips. Thanks. Have a great day.